Hi. Okay, um, something that I would like to talk about that I thought about for the last couple of months, for a long time actually, since I've been getting into health, um, light dynamics, right? Sunlight, sun gazing. Sunlight, very powerful, but um, just from my own experiences, and you guys may know this information, in which case, cool, you just reinforce what you don't. If you don't, cool, um, you can learn from your own experiments too. There is a difference, obviously, between um, having your window. We know windows don't allow full spectrum light anyway. They block out 40, 60%, about 50% roughly of the red light spectrum. They let most of the blue in, but they don't let the purple in. So windows are co and also windows um, block out UVB, which stops vitamin D production. So windows, windows, they're okay. You know, these modern windows are okay, but they're not full spectrum light. But if we go beyond the fact that a closed window is not a good idea and that we should be opening windows, right? We should be opening windows where when we're inside houses, whenever I'm in my room, I always have the window open and, and a lot too. Um, that's good. It's essential. That's kind of why houses always have windows. We've always known about light as medicine. Yeah, it's not because it looks beautiful to have the sunlight. It's because of the medicine. It's essential to human health. That's why windows are there, right? But there is a huge difference. Let me emphasize this again. There is a huge, huge, huge difference between an open window and letting sunlight in through an open window and being outside of nature. Plus, I'll go into a little bit more detail on why I'm saying this. And plus, it does matter what angle the sun is in the sky. So I've got my window there, but the sun doesn't come up there. The sun rises to the east on the other side, it comes up to the west. So, um, I'm trying to say, at the point of sunrise, that it's to the right, and, and the sunset is to the left, but it's on the other side, and that does affect the, where the sun is, at what point the sun is at the sky to the window, will affect the amount of medicine. Anyway, unless the sun is right coming up right in front of my right in front of the window and you got it with window open and then you can do you know what i mean like if say there's no clouds at all and the sun's coming in and it, you can see the rays hit your skin right a cloudless day you know what the clouds uh, the sun does to your skin it lights you up and there's a massive dump of light as opposed to cloud cover sun it doesn't give you that to your skin right the light up the massive light up of lux well if the sun was coming in through the window maybe and it doesn't because of the web where the sun rises and sets even under a uh, completely clear sky in my window, it doesn't activate at all. So it's never going to have full... I'm never going to get a sun right in front of me, that side hitting on my bare skin ever, even on a cloudless day. So, and I think that's a, for a lot of people, yeah? You know, for a lot of um, a lot of our windows, they just ain't going to be. So with that being said, there is a huge difference. I've noticed this for a couple of months now, that you can never get full penetration through an open window unless it's direct and, and it rarely is. So there, the difference is huge. It's like comparing um, a tortoise and a hare in a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, an open window is great and much better than a closed window, but the being outside is where it's at, and that's where you want to push for. You're going to get a lot more medicine and a lot more health and activations, um, a lot more lux into your eyes, into your skin, even under cloud cover, or going outside as opposed to staying in your room, being in a house. I mean, do what we can. If you're at work, you know, you've got to be a nine-to-five job. Fucking hell, I hope you're not working for someone else 9 to 5, but if you are and all that shit, you know, be by an office window, open the doors, we open the windows, we do what we can. Just want to make the point that there is a huge difference between having your window open, and, and don't get me wrong, there is medicine coming in for a window, from uh, from an open window, because light is a multifactorial prism, it just seems to get everywhere. That's how light works, that's why the sky lights up, even the clouds, the sun penetrates through the clouds and it seems to go everywhere. Just one sun lights up every fucking thing on the earth, right? Crazy. It lights everything up wherever it goes. It's, it's that powerful. It's a multifactorial prism of light. And, um, you know, so if you open the window a slit, you know, it, the sunlight prism goes everywhere. Kind of true. But it's just not as powerful as going through the direct activation of being outside of nature. Plus, why do we want to... Why do, I don't want to encourage people to be in their rooms opening windows and thinking, oh, well, I'm getting the light medicine. Yeah, you are, but that's called laziness too. You want to be out as much as possible, right, with the proper light. Plus, you can't ground to the grass and nature outside. You can ground inside. That's another lazy thing that we do, isn't it? Grounding inside. Um, it's okay when you sleep, but, I mean, if you've got the chance between gr using your little grounding pads in the daytime and grounding pads, um, gr grounding on the grass in your garden, I know which one I choose. I always choose anyway, grounding in the garden, right? So, if in doubt, always go with nature. Nature knows. Um, nature knows best. And Get out of the house. Now, there's one thing that I've um, 
there is quality difference in it too, but there's one time when even I, it hard, however hardcore you are, are going to struggle with getting outside. That's when it's raining. Yeah, when it's raining, okay. So what, if I'm if it's sunrise time and it's raining outside, guess what? I'm not going to stand there in the fucking rain. I've got I've already got up at sunrise for my red light therapy. So I'm just going to open the window on that time and then you know do my sunrise through the window. It still gives me some kind of activation, but just not as much. So there are times when it's okay to open a window and to, um, you know, to, to get, I'll literally open the window and I'll just stand there so the light enters my body at that angle. I don't let the, don't let the, I try and maximise the light and try and work out the dynamics of exactly where the sunlight is and where it's best to stand. And it just makes sense if it's opening up a slit for me to stand in a particular area. So, you, you know, this little geeky shit I think about a lot, um, you know, what light, what angle the light's going to come in, where's the sun at any particular moment of time so I can... Just get those little bit extras, right? That's what, when you've got the open window and you can't be outside or when you're too lazy. You just got to think of these little things, right? People don't think of these little things. You know, it's crazy. So that's it. Light activation codes. There's a huge difference from my experience and my experiments between being inside and inside with an open window and getting that medicine, whether that be UVB medicine for vitamin D production, whether it be red light therapy, sunrise, sunset medicine, whether it be UVA um to relax your bloodstream release nitric oxide whatever medicine whatever colors are going on in the sun it's just not quite the same don't get me wrong it's better than nothing and much better than having you know a closed window or a, being in a side of a room with no window but you know there's that difference and you always want to be going for the best option because we want to be the best healthiest versions of ourselves and um windows ain't the way you know this is um it's a man-made bullshit thing to keep us insulated from um you know, from our environment and nature. Just another th another thing that's been invented to slowly weem away and destroy our health. The window. You know, it's like we're in a zoo. We're looking outside at nature and the, the window keeps us away. Like doors and houses and windows keep us away from nature. Like we're watching nature like a zoo. Like it's not a thing that we're interacting with. You know, it keeps us away. <laughs> Whereas we go outside, we're actually part of nature. You know, that's how we become nature, by just being outside. We appreciate it more, we see the trees, we see the sun, we see the beauty of the sky, you know, and, and inside a house with the windows open or even the windows closed, it's just it's just not the same, is it? So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's a huge difference. Don't believe me, go and try it out for yourself, and if anyone wants to prove me wrong, cool. But I said that if the sun is coming direct, though, in that case, there isn't much of a difference, right? The sun's coming direct onto your skin, open window, fine, but it's just not for most people in the most, most windows, I would have thought. So, yeah, I'll just read your comment what happened, I'll go. Oh yeah, rainwater, Pablo. Yeah, man, distilled water shower. That's true too. If you want to go outside in the rain in the sunrise, I'm I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> it's hard enough putting my alarm clock up for four forty in the morning, you know. <laughs> then going, to, I do go back to sleep, but it's fucking hard, man. So I'm not going to be that hardcore. If you do want to get rainwater on your